Hello once again everybody, it's Nick here with you. Welcome back to the Rock Squad channel and welcome to another Rock Squad interview as I reach back into the interview vaults for another great interview with a band, another great Canadian band called The Beaches. From back in 2015, they came into the Y108 studio to do a, a conversation and a, a live acoustic song in studio all called Loner and uh, they were just kind of up and coming at the time but since then the Beaches have done a lot of really great things. They've released a lot of really great music, done a lot of tours and really kind of blown up uh, here in Canada as well as internationally so it was very cool to talk to them back in the day when they were just kind of up and coming and they hadn't gotten big just yet uh, but I thought this was a great conversation so without further ado this is my conversation with the Beaches in honor of their new album Blame My Ex which comes out on September the 15th going back in the interview archives my conversation with the Beaches on the Ross Squad It's Nick Chino with you for another edition of the Why When Wait Indie Show Toronto's The Beaches are coming to town for a show October the 28th at the Casbah I have the entire band in studio with me I have Jordan, Kylie, Eliza, and Leandra of the Beaches. How's it going, ladies? Good. <laughs> uh, so for the uninitiated out there for, for the indie show, who are the Beaches and how did the band come together? Um, we're a rock band from Toronto, from the east end of Toronto, actually. And um, Eliza, Jordan, and I have been playing in a band together for over Almost five... A long time. Almost ten. Like, we're basically family. Yes. I mean, no, we are. Well, you're family, too. Yes. But, um... Thank you. <laughs> We've known each other since we were, like, really, really, really little. But, yeah, like Kylie said, we started playing together almost ten years ago. We were playing in a band when we were in middle school together, and we were in, like, a teen pop, like, family channel band. It was, nice. It was lit. And then, um... <laughs> I was a huge fan of them. I call it the anti-Disney Disney band. It was, it was quite something. And then, uh, in high school, we decided to kind of, you know, change our sound and kind of decide like that we weren't really happy with this like whole pop punk thing we were doing and then um we got Leandro to join the band in like oh three years ago yeah almost three. and uh we've been doing this ever since then and you have the the two uh the two eps so far self-titled and the heights ep yes are, are there any plans for a full-length record anytime soon or yeah more we've, been, we've been going down to los angeles and writing with a lot of people and um, also working at our studio in toronto and collaborating with other writers and producers and we're hoping to get a full length album out soon it's just things it's take time <laughs> totally and how is how's the experience been in LA like writing with different people and it's great getting the I, California vibe I mean like for the last EP like for Heights we we kind of did everything ourselves like we really took charge of the project and we self-produced it and we got a friend to do the artwork and it was like a very personal experience and we only worked with each other and um, James who produced helped produce the record. We also um, filmed the music video. So. Yeah. So it was like a, a much more personal project. So it was like our own little group who worked on it. And then for the newer stuff we've done, we've co been collaborating with a lot of people. Like we worked with like Linda Perry and Jack Knight awesome. Lee. And so working with other like established writers and producers like that really helps you become a better writer because it teaches you to write in different ways that you're not used to. And so it's more of a challenge because <laughs> like when there's more people in the room mm -hmm. other people are going to like challenge your opinion but honestly better songs come out of it and uh, so it's been good for all of us I think we've learned a lot uh, and uh, you guys were in LA but then also on the other side of the coast you guys were recently down in New York for CMJ how is that and are the New Yorkers digging the beaches I hope so, <laughs> I hope so. CMJ was awesome it, um, it was my first time there um in New York, I think everyone else has been, so it was kind of overwhelming for me. Uh, the city was massive, um, but the festival was really good. We did two showcases. One was a Canadian showcase um, with a bunch of other bands. Uh, Brave Shores was there. It was a band that gets played on the radio quite a bit in Toronto, so that was cool. Um, and yeah, and we did one acoustic session, which was interesting because we're not typically an acoustic band, but it was a lot of fun, and I'd really like to <laughs> There's a certain vibe in New York, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, is there a difference that you notice between, you know, when you're playing at home in Toronto and the you know the crowds when you're playing in a place like Brooklyn? It's hard to say because we were mostly doing showcases. Yeah. And showcases are where, like, a lot of industry people come. Right. So they're all very tame and, like, double fisting their drinks so they can't really, like, <laughs> dance around and mosh. Whereas <laughs> we play way more shows in Toronto because there's not as many industry people that come to see yeah. us here. The crowds are a little different, but I'm sure if we had played actual shows in Brooklyn and, or New York, sorry, shows, not showcases, <laughs> <laughs> there's still shows, um, we would have probably found a similar crowd. Um, Halloween's coming up. Have you decided what your costumes <laughs> oh, are? Yes. Oh, our costumes <laughs> are What are the, the, the costumes going to be? Uh, we're going to be the A&E team. 
<laughs> so like A and E the channel. Okay. We're each gonna be a character from there. So Jordan's gonna be Chris Angel. Mind freak. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which is perfect. Like the hair. She's yeah. got black hair for everyone listening. Okay. Leather she's, vest. She's got the right to the point. You're gonna do it. Though. Some yeah. cross chains. Uh, Kylie's gonna be Dave Hester from Storage Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have the same body type. <laughs> Which one's he? Which one is he? Yep. Yep. Oh, he's, yep. He's yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I think it's he's the yep guy. He kicked off the show for like two seasons and came back. <laughs> he's like, it's all fake, but I'll no, be back, back on the show. On. He needs nice. that money. Um, I'm gonna be Billy the Exterminator. Cool. <laughs> Gotta get the bandana going. Uh, Eliza's my favorite character of all time, Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, we're talking to the Beaches playing here in Hamilton October the 28th at the Casbah. You have uh, brought your instruments with you. What are you going to play for us? Uh, we're going to play our song, Loner. It's uh, the first single that we ever released, so yeah. We're stripping it down. It's cool. The Beaches Acoustic. This is Loner on The Indie Show. Pretend that I'm an easy riddle It's easy to break the necks And to deal with how they feel Guess it's my cover that locks my door Or maybe my need for comfort That keeps me turning away more Maybe, maybe I'm gone I'm a bad influence, now looking for redemption. Forget that silly little promise ring, and listen to my voice. Y108 Rocks on the Indie Show with The Beaches live in studio. That is Loner. They're rocking out here in Hamilton at the Casbah, October the 28th. Uh, have you played in Hamilton before? What is your relationship with our fine city? Ooh. We have played here. A it's intimate, times. I think, we relationship. <laughs> sensual. <laughs> it's a little sensual. We got Indian food here that time with David oh. Buss. David Buss. Yeah, it was really it, good. We played at Super Crawl, actually. Awesome. Last year, which was like super fun for us. Um, our friends, Arkells, had us on their stage. Like They coordinated a stage of all their favorite bands to play and they had us play and so that was really cool. Yeah. And we played here a couple other times doing like smaller gigs and stuff. 
So you have a good relationship with Hamilton, so you're happy to be coming back on yeah, October yeah. 28th. Love Hamilton. We're like Toronto Junior. We're like Toronto's like cool yeah. little kid brother yeah. kind of thing. Like, like <laughs> Brooklyn. Yeah, totally. And Brooklyn is totally cool, so we'll go with that. Um, before I let you go, I want to ask you some rapid-fire questions. Okay. Uh, give me the first answers that come to your heads. Like, yeah, we'll, okay. we'll go down, and we'll okay. start on this side. Okay. Uh, Halloween or Christmas? Both coming Christmas. up. Yeah, Christmas. I love Christmas. Halloween. Halloween. Ooh, right down the middle. <laughs> and that's not just because Halloween's coming up. You guys are like, you like Halloween better than Christmas. Oh okay, <laughs> let's settle down. They're it's not getting it's any a Christmas Mary presents time this year. In my heart. Harsh words. Those hurt my ears a bit. You always see, you you always see scary <laughs> Christmas cold. movies, but you don't see Christmassy Halloween movies. Uh, good, before good Christmas, point, Can we just raise, is that a Halloween or a Christmas movie. I actually just read online that the maker of that movie said that it's officially a Halloween movie. What? Uh, yeah, it's, it's weird, but I'll, I'll, okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Uh, footwear. I usually ask Converse, Converse or Vans, but what? what's the footwear? Converse. Oh, can we choose you, one? You, you can change it up oh, or choose one. Doc Martens. Doc. Sure. All of the Docs. Docs, Docs. Docs too. Really? All about yeah. the Docs. Chelsea Docs. Cool. Mine are almost cut in half. I need to get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, my sister had a pair of uh, cherry red docks, yeah, which I thought were the coolest they are, things ever, you know, and they still are. I got to get a pair of those. Yeah. Um, instrument wise, uh, Gibson or Fender? Fender? Fender because it owns Gretsch, and I love Gretsch kits, so yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Gibson, got to love the little Firebird, even though everyone hates it. <laughs> Fender all the way. Bender. All the way. The Beaches are playing live at the Casbah here in Hamilton, October the 28th. Um, what do people need to know for information if they want to make it out to the Casbah? Uh, doors are at 8, and I believe tickets are 10 to $12. It's 12 dollars 50 12 50 I got you. Look at you. <laughs> you know? um, and you can buy them at the door, but you can, I think you can also buy them online. Uh, check our Facebook for links for tickets, and um, if you want to come out to any other shows on this tour... All of our dates are listed there, so yeah. yeah. We're Hope to see all of you there. Yes. You're all cuties. <laughs> with kids, and they're awesome. Oh yeah, kid. Yeah. Like, we're, are we open for kids? Yeah, kids yeah, we're like, open. Yeah, for kids. we love kid. Awesome, right on the Maybe beaches. Kid. Let's uh, let's uh, spin uh, a tune, a studio tune from the from the band. What do you want to spin? Yeah, little pieces. Little pieces. Little pieces. We filmed that video ourselves. I hope so. All right, let's do it. Little pieces. This is the beaches on the indie show. Thanks for coming on the show, ladies. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us.